All right, guys, so what we're going to go and do today is we're going to go and do a steak cook on a campfire. It's freezing outside in the UK at the moment. It's about four o'clock at the moment, and me and my mate are going to go and cook up a steak for sunset. So we just got to go to Sainsbury's first and grab a few things, and I'm going to go and prepare some things I've already got in the house. <laughs> the spot now. Rob's here yet. Maybe not because he's cycling but hopefully he'll be here soon. Oh my <laughs> so here we are, got this little camp going. So at this point we were really happy because we had that fire burning nice and strong, giving out a lot of good heat. But we just needed to go and collect a few more twigs and branches. The stuff around us was really moist from the winter it had been soaked through. So looking for standing dead hardwood and branches allowed us to bring that fire up to a nice clean burn with very little smoke. And when we were happy we had enough hardwood for the fire to burn all the way through we obviously sat down and chilled around the campfire for a bit and talked and it was really nice so about half an hour ago when we were happy the coals were burning nice and hot we chucked two baked potatoes next to the fire and then it was time to start prepping the red peppers for the meal and after enjoying a few of the roasted red peppers over the fire the coals were looking perfect to chuck the steaks onto the fire and they sizzled away and it was lovely. And on coals this hot it really doesn't take long so after about two, two, three minutes we turned those steaks over and just smothered a few of the coals on top of them to keep them in a sort of oven and just cook that steak all the way through. When everything was ready, we took it off the fire and this is the final result. The baked potatoes are a little bit charred on the outside, but everything else cooked really well. I'm so happy with the way the steak came out and the red peppers. After eating all that, we put our feet up around the fire, talked for a little bit and then put the fire out responsibly, making sure to clean up the area to exactly how we found it and leave it in its natural state. 